Hello everyone and welcome back to Python Lessons on Codecademy. Today we will be starting a new project on Codecademy called Battleship. You might be familiar with the game Battleship, so I think that this is going to be similar to that, except for that it's going to be textual, uh, with text and not graphical. So let's see. So this it's just giving us an introduction which I will read. So, welcome to Battleship. In this project you will build a simplified one-player version of the classic board game Battleship. In this version of the game, there will be a single ship hidden in a random location on a 5x5 grid. The player will have 10 guesses to try to sink the ship. To build this game we will use our knowledge of lists, conditionals and functions in Python. Uh, when you are ready to get started, click front to continue. So, I'm guessing that we will need to make a two-dimensional list which is uh, something like the last thing that we covered previously a list inside a list so let's save and submit and let's start so the first thing we need to do is set up the game board create a variable board and set it to equal to an empty list so let's make that empty list so this looks simple enough for now now we need to make a list with guest with non guest spots. So create a five by five grid initialized to all O's and store it in a board. So how we need to do this is use range to loop five times. Inside the loop append dot append a list containing five O's to start the board just like in the example above. Uh, note that the these are capital letter O's and not zeros. So let's see how this is done. So I'm guessing what we need to do is board dot append and range five. Um, but this isn't going to do what I wanted to. So dot append O times five. But then. I don't think this is going to work because this is just going to append one of them. So for oh for yeah this is how you yeah I just remembered okay so we need to do this five times to have five but to have a five by five grid so for n in range five so that it does it five times we need to do this and nope okay. It looks like the rows are not represented as lists. So inside the loop, so use range loop, range to loop five times. So we've done that with the for loop. Inside the loop, dot append a list containing five O's to the board, just like in the example above. So do we need to do something like this? Yeah because I didn't see that but I don't know why we need to do that but okay I guess it's because when you're actually making a list and that wouldn't be a list it would be a string so we will have five strings instead of five lists so okay so check it twice okay use the print command to display the contents of the board list so I'm guessing that it just wants us to print board. Okay, so that's fine then. So let's move on. Custom print. So now we need to to actually make it look proper, not just one line of it. We need to make it loop through. So first delete your existing print statement. Then define a function called print board. So define print board. The single argument board and inside the function write a for loop that iterates through each row in board and print it to the screen so okay we need to iterate iterate through each row in board so for row in board call your function with board to make sure it works and we need to actually print row and now let's call this function to make sure it works. So print board with board. Let's see. 
so yes now it looks a lot better seeing it's on as it's on five lines and you can see clearly that it's a five by five grid so let's move on printing pretty are we going to make it even prettier then okay let's see <laughs> the example above we create a list called letters then we print a b c d the join method uses the string to combine the items in the list so finally we print a b c d we are calling the dot join function on the dash 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 string so it prints that okay I understand I think hopefully <laughs> we want to turn each row into oh, five O's with a blank space between inside your function inside your for loop use blank space as the separator to dot join the elements for each row so print row dot join and something like this I'm guessing nope Check the hint, okay. So on line nine, file Python module and line seven, join. So how does join actually work? Oh, okay, so we need to do this here. And what we need to join is the board, no, the row because that's a list on its own yes so that's correct now it actually prints the board without any square brackets and it looks much prettier <laughs> hide now we need to hide a battleship in a random location on the board I think that this is just a uh, one oh no never mind sorry um, uh, okay so in the above ex above example, we first import the rand int low high uh, function from the random module. Then we generate either zero or one and store it in coin. Finally, we generate a number from one to six inclusive. So let's generate a random row and random column from zero to four. Define a new function. So here, define a new function called random row. Um, and random call that each take board as input so board and another def random call I column with board let's actually leave another space there just to make it look better it okay this function should return a random row index and a random column index from your board respectively use brand int and that okay so what happens we just do this uh, let's see so brand int zero so we have imported brand int let's see yes it does work let's see the hint just because I'm curious well, we could just call brand int for we use length in case we want to change the board size later okay so let's move on and seek ha <laughs> hide and seek okay create a new variable called guest row and set it to int from in raw input guest row okay so we can do this guess row equals so what raw input does is asks the user for an input the input is stored as a string even if it's a number or a decimal number uh, create a new variable called guest column and set it to the raw input guest call so guest call equals that but instead of row we can put call seven so submit code so let's see if we can guess it <laughs> um, well six isn't in there three and five so now we don't know if we have guessed it or not I'm guessing that that's going to be coming up soon it's not cheating it's debugging print the value of ship call and print the value of ship row okay so that we can see if we got it right and if it works oops print that then 
what am I doing? Print ship row. Okay. So let's do three and five again. Oops, I meant to do five. <laughs> three, five. So we didn't guess it. It was zero and three. So next lesson, we next time we will be finishing this off completely. And until then, uh, have a good day and goodbye.